All right, so I'm gonna be criticizing Danik. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is bad. It's it's not very good. It's not a good animation. Sorry, a night at work tonight, 10 hours, and I'm a little tired, so I might yawn a lot. Anyways, let's watch this. Uh, count. Just try to see how many things you can see that's wrong with it. I'm going to go through it a few times so you can see. It's like every time you watch it, you just see more things more things that are just wrong with it which it's okay it's okay because there is a major thing uh, that this could it could use just three there are three major things that I'm gonna point out that would make this a lot better the first thing is after you watch this um, go look at some movement tutorials that's gonna help you out the most just try, try to figure out your movements practice your movements Secondly is your VCAM. Um, your stage, your, your VCAM is based off of your stage size. So if your size is 550 by 400 and your VCAM is at 592.9 by 292.8, then you're going to get this look where everything seems squished. Where in reality, it looks like you went for the whole perfect circle mesh. Um, in which case, always start with your vcam the exact same size as your stage that way you get accurate proportions if you scale it use the free transform tool the shortcut is q learn your shortcuts it's gonna help you out a lot it's gonna make you faster and then just scale it how you need to see so look at that that's the difference um, pretty simple I'm gonna undo all of that okay hide that movements and stances it's the first thing we're gonna go over um, let me pick color my guy is gonna be the purple guy I don't really know usually people zoom in when they animate with brush tool especially because they're trying to hide all of these ridges that I like to refer to as tumors and cabin fever that you got going on on the whole figure on every limb and just the whole thing is stupid looking because of that <clears throat> which I've explained this in every video I've critiqued if that is uh people use the brush tool is you use the lasso L L is your shortcut L for lasso god the, like Steve Hawking came up with these um you just select ridges you go back to the selection tool V for the selection tool over here you got smooth, you can smooth shit, or straighten, you can straighten shit. And I pretty much always use straighten because it is always the best. And it is best to do this. Um, I use a high uh, smoothness on my brush if that's even a word. See this would be a better smooth rather than straighten situation. just do that because see look how much cleaner this is now that I've just gone in here on this one frame and I've done all of this this one frame looks better like just look at his leg right here his body and, the, and his arm in comparison to this guy I work out every day I have AIDS and cabin fever and I probably want to die but that's what's going on Oh look, you you did their heads to every frame. People usually convert uh, to symbol and just do it that way, but not you, not this guy. Great song. All right, my guy. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's sexy purple. All right, this stance is all messed up. It looks weird. It looks weak. Probably want to go for something. I don't even know what you're trying to go for, to be honest here with this stance you probably are going for like a more martial arts kind of thing I don't even know this this just looks horrible god I'm it's just too huge that's what she said 
Yeah, this, I, I wouldn't even bend it like that. I don't even know how I'd bend this. I'd probably, honestly, just, I wouldn't even bend it like that. I'd probably do something like this. And then, in which case, this back leg just looks retarded. Um, God, I don't know why anybody animate that, that huge. That's just uncomfortable to animate with. My guy would be, like, this freaking big. No, I'm just kidding. My little purple dude down here. See, didn't get into the legs. Anyways, <clears throat> work on your stances. Uh, don't pay attention to my badly drawn stances. Work on your movements. That's all you gotta do. All right, let's let's just pay attention here because, like I said, I'm gonna try to do this quick. Let's let's look at the green guy. Just keep watching the green guy. Just watch the green guy. Just watch, just watch him move. Just watch him move. God. It's like, how is it possible, you know? He didn't zoom in when he did this. That's what he did. He did not zoom in, and then he... There's no way. There's no way I'm calling bullshit on this whole thing. Alright. I'm just gonna go over a few frames and be like, this is stupid and this is why. Alright, let's pick yellow. Yellow is a good color. This is how tall he is. So that's how tall he is. Let's not go with yellow, let's go with a green. That's how tall he is in this frame. He is this tall. Congratulations. And now let's watch. Oh. He's gotten a lot shorter. All right, I'm just I, I'm, I'm gonna go through here and I'm just gonna explain why things are stupid when when you look at this, just why things look awful. Stances already to begin with are horrible. This guy's in a horrible stance. This guy is just perfectly balancing on one leg. Oh no, never mind. He moves. All right. He shrinks. First thing, he shrinks. Secondly, um, you've got this going on right here, but you got that going on right there. Usually, in one of these in betweens, look at my foot, and you've got the leg like this. You usually have the arms in that position. Then you got your head going on, your flat head. Um, It's just, you see how, alright, when you run, this is, you take a step when you're running, this is the foot that you're walking on, this is the one carrying all the force, your foot's going to stay in the same spot as it extends out, and your other foot crosses. All right, and then when it goes in the air, when when you go off the ground, this is what's gonna happen. When your foot eventually kicks out, you're going to go forward because if you're running forward, you're gonna go forward. Your entire body's gonna go forward, especially the foot. It's gonna trail behind. Well, it's gonna trail ahead of where it was in the previous frame. That's how these things work. That's how when you make this back leg right here bend across the other leg, you're going to animate it like this. Oh, don't bend it. You're going to animate it like that. It's going to trail ahead of where this frame was previously. And you're going to keep doing that. See? Look at that until you decide to break the cycle and you keep it going, look at that, it's always in front of it see that I just eased it and everything for you, look at that, I just animated one leg running but that's what you would do, now let's look at yours that's where your foot is in this frame and the next frame 
That's where the foot is. That's not right. That's incorrect. Uh, the body should be going forward. Your foot would be about there. Then again, your whole figure is drawn incorrectly because this leg should be like that. This leg should be like that if this is the frame you're on. Your arms, you have the long limb and the short one. That's not good. That's not a good thing to do. Something like that. Alright, placement. Uh, limb placement is also another big thing going on right here. Look at your your guys' feet. They're just they're moving. They're not in the same place. These three frames for they're always in a different position. That's not good. That is not good. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, God, I can't I can't show you any. That's more HG animation. I don't want to go through there. Poppet's gonna watch this and he's just gonna know what to look for. Um, that's not good. I'll do it right here real quick. I don't want to animate anything because that might take a while. Okay, let's say this is my leg. I'm gonna make a keyframe. That's my leg. Uh, use onion skin. Huh. Then that's my leg. Hey, look. I'm gonna keep my foot in the same spot. Look, that's my leg. Hey, look. That's my leg. Look, that's my leg. My leg in four frames, five frames, just became the best part about this whole animation. Just watch. Yep, that. That is the best part about this whole animation. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm just picking on you. Just work on that. Uh, just l look at the onion skin. And think. Think about it when when you're animating this. How would this look in real life? S seriously, do that for me. It's like, that's horrible. Like, look at this guy. This guy is on some next level shit. That's what the red guy is on. <laughs> he just... If you get kicked like this guy is about to kick him, you shouldn't get up. See, look, this is what's going to happen, because I, I talk about a lot about physics and what would happen in these things. This is exactly what would happen. This frame right here, your leg, I just want you to know this, this leg right now is supporting the weight of this leg, your body, this arm, this arm, and your head. Well, ma look at, this is where majority of the weight is, is right here. That's where all the weight is. Look at how much is on this side versus this side. And you're telling me he's just going to do some Goku shit and like, he ya yeah, motherfucker. But everything's cool because I've got double hinge joints. I can just, boom, land. I'll, look at this. No anticipation, no momentum, no easing needed, nothing. He just leaps off into action. Just bam. Just, look at that. Just fucking... Just fucks this nigga up, dude. He just... Boom, look at that. I'm on the other side of you. No wonder the green guy just goes fucking everywhere. He doesn't know what's happening. I, I get it. I just understood it. The green guy, his power is shape-shifting. The red guy, his power is double hinge super Dragon Ball Z speed, and the green guy just, he he got the stupid dumb shit power. I would have got the red guy's fucking power. Just Goku going at it over here, that's what it is, let's, let's watch. Just think, Goku. That's what it is, it's Goku fighting him. That's what it is. Um, reactions. Reactions, serious note, reactions is another important thing um, to keep in mind when animating. So let, let's just, just look at this guy. Look at how... Just look at these frames. If you... Danik, if you're watching this and you don't agree with me in that that is just the weirdest thing ever, how this green guy... Look at how many times he changes unrealistically. His leg, 
He's got a midget leg on the left side, his arm, his left arm. Look, he brings his arm back. He brings his leg back. Oh, hold on, I'm going in fucking reverse. Hold on. Alright, let's start right here. His leg is fucking extended. He gets kicked in the head. He just pulls his leg back. He bends his leg all the way. Keeps it going, midget leg. Then he bends it this way. Like, no. No, look at his arm. Look at how many times his arm is just jiggly. Here, here, I'll help you out. I'll make this a guide layer. You won't be able to see the red guy when I play this. Just look at the green guy's reactions and tell me that it looks good. That's just like... Let's just ghost rape. That's all it is. Alright, now let's look at the red guy's movements. Just... At least they flow. I'll give you that. I like the red guy's movements because at least they flow. Everything's just sort of is going. You're still jiggly in some spots. The last punch was pretty nice. It had a lot of force to it. Easing, you need easing. Everything eases. You need it. I, I know you know what easing is. There's no way you don't. I know you know what easing is. If you don't know what easing is, go look at a tutorial that I've explained it enough. I'm already doing this 17 minutes. I don't need to do that. Out of ease this out right here. Out of ease that out. Everything, every movement you do, every. When you shift force and momentum in your weight and your movements, you're going to ease everything. So, like, I'll go over here. Like that, I'd be easing right here the arms. The arms should be easing. The arms, if I'm uppercutting him, I would do it. It'd be there, there. Oh, no, too much. There. Then I'd probably begin the descent back down. Like if he was gonna shift his arm. But I'd still trail it ahead. See watch, watch this. I'd ease his arm back down. But I'd keep it trailing. This would be the arms movement. That's how the arm would move if he was just going to come down into a different pose. I'm pretty sure that's not what he does. Yeah, see, he keeps going. Then, look, he just he does another one of those Dragon Ball Z kicks. Then he leaps and just... He kicks him. Look, this kick, he does nothing. Let's see what happens. He, he kicks him. He didn't even move to the kick. He just punched him. Just just work on your reactions. Um, you probably animated the red guy first, then animated the other guy in there, which isn't good. I Usually I'll animate a hit, and then i'll animate another hit and the reaction right afterwards that way you just you keep everything going um my music stopped playing i'm getting upset i'm about to end this video actually uh that's a great song it's just you you've got some really good potential here to, to make a i mean a really good animation you just when you're animating and if you're taking it you need to take it seriously if you're trying to take it seriously if, if you really want good reactions um just look at it 
before you keep animating. Animate like five frames and look at it. Just go back and look at what you just animated. And seriously ask yourself, like, what does that look like? Does that look realistic? Does that is that a smooth movement? Is it eased out properly? Is there anything jiggling? Is there anything I should probably clean up? Just critique yourself before you you end up animating 100 some frames, 126 frames. It's just, you really do. You have some really good potential here. Just work on resizing a lot. Um, your, your joints, I mean, look at this. Like, look at his leg. Like, this leg compared to this leg. Just come on out. Stuff like that. Just simple stuff. The whole cleaning up your figures every frame, you can do that. It'll take you five minutes extra the whole animation if you just clean up your frames as you go. Like, before you hit F6 or F7, just clean it up. It'll, it'll make it so much easier on you. Uh, rather than going back and trying to do it. Um, work on your movements. If I were you, before uh, trying to incorporate some another stick figure, maybe just animate one guy doing a combo and try to perfect that. Because, like I said, the red guy was really good. He was animated pretty well. As for, like, You could have worked on some movements, better movements with him, uh, easing the whole force anticipation into movements. Uh, to add like power to a punch like here like if you're sitting here trying to animate one of those like Hulk smash punches and you start your guy off like this and this dude in front of him is like about to get smashed what you would want to do is you would want to bring him back You would want to bring him back like this, like I just drew him. You'd want some heavy, like you'd want light easing going back, like animating back this way. You would do light easing. But as, as he starts winding the punch, like he's about to uh, just unleash keep in mind the, the foot is going to switch right here he's using this foot to pull his weight back when he punches about halfway through about when he gets to right here it's going to switch he's going to start using this foot right here to pull all the weight forward so that's what's going to this back foot all he's going to be he's just going to push he's going to push the attack this he's going to pull the attack at him it's going to hurt fucking 20 times worse and just, just I would ease a lot right here. Just a lot coming out of it. Just like maybe double frame the first three frames of him easing out. And when you get the arm right here, uh, just, this frame is where this, this would be the last frame I'd have the arm. The next frame would be the hit uh, where I I draw it out. Just straight up fucking smack somebody in the face. Just make them have a bad day. In which the the reaction to this, if you're going to do a reaction to a hit like that, you don't necessarily want to draw somebody like just falling over, like dead. Um, uh, he's the hunchback. Just he gets hit, and then he probably would. There would definitely be some recoil. Uh, yeah, that's not much better than yours, <laughs> but, um, just, just work on that. Maybe do a few quick hits, a few, just, like, five hits, and then one just super power fucking attack at the end to work on your force. Then you can go back in there and you can add in all this other shit to try to make it look better. Once you get good at that, once you get your movements down, I guarantee you, if you do that, if you make one more combo of just one guy, you just work as much as you can on perfecting half of it, just the attacker, 
you can go back in and redo that combinate uh, the combo and the guy's reactions will be three times better than the screen guy's reactions were in this one just because of the fact that you've worked so hard on one guy if that was the case both of these guys would be equally as good like I, I can't ex express it enough when I say this is a better animation than with the green guy in it I mean, I mean look at that it's not bad it's not bad you can clean it up, work on your movements, work on resizing, and just you're easing in force, and I sw you'd be the shit. That's all you'd have to do. Then you can go on and learn angles and fucking effects and all that shit because you'd be the fucking tits and animating. That's all you need to do. Just be the tits, yo. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Um, if you'd like, definitely try making another combo. Hit me up, dude. I'll let you know how you progressed on that just if you do though once you take it seriously just remember easing force foot placement for the love of Jesus if you do take me up on that offer and you send me another video and you're you haven't fixed your foot issue right there then I swear to God I, I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna tell you fuck no that's retarded just make me feel like you care like you took the time to send me something like that you really want to work on this I, I swear to god I'll work with you other than that I mean I look forward to hearing from you you guys keep it real